This stuff right here, all these words and numbers that you see on the screen in the corner, it's called the MSI Afterburner Overlay. That's what this video is about. What's it for? How do you get it? And how do you customize it the way that I have it right here? Well, I'm going to tell you about that in a minute, but first we need to roll the intro. So let's d do that. Now! Hello, hi there, I'm TechDweeb, welcome. You may or may not have noticed this when I'm testing games. This section on the edge of the screen that shows all my data about what's going on in my PC when I'm running a game. It can tell me what my GPU temperature is, what my GPU and CPU usage are, how much VRAM is allocated to the GPU, and of course, what is our current FPS, and also calculate the average FPS over a period of time. I've got uh, uh, quite a few questions about this, about how I, I set this up and configure it the way that I have it configured right up here with this specific layout. Well, that's what this video is about. It's how to do this. It's a program called MSI Afterburner. So, yeah, if, if you want this, the first step is to install MSI Afterburner. So just do, download that from the MSI website. I'll include a link to that in the description below for your convenience. Run that to install the program, and then there's one important thing that you need to pay attention to when you're running the installer. This part right here. It'll ask you if you want to install RevaTutor Statistics Server. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird name. For the longest time, I had no idea what that actually was for. But basically, it, it's a program that displays the data from MSI Afterburner. It, it's, the, it's the overlay. So make sure that that gets installed alongside MSI Afterburner. Now, MSI Afterburner can be used for several things. You could use it to overclock your GPU, like I showed how to do in this video, link in the description below. And you could use it to undervolt your GPU, like I showed how to do in this video, link below. But today we're going to learn how to use MSI Afterburner and RevaTutor to display important data while you're gaming. Data like your CPU usage, or your CPU clock speed, your RAM usage, your GPU usage, or your GPU clock speed, your GPU VRAM usage, and of course, and most importantly, your FPS data. Like your current frames per second, your average FPS, 1% lows, and the frame time graph. Ordinarily, when you just turn it on, the stuff, it looks like this. And I'll show you how to get that first, but I, I like to set it up so that it looks like this, which is a bit more complicated to set up, but I've had uh, so many questions about how to do it like this that I figured I should make a video explaining exactly how I set it up to look like this. But first, let's just cover how to turn it on and choose what info is displayed. If you just start up MSI Afterburner, you'll see that it's either running in the background or it'll be the main Afterburner window when you start it up. And if you install RevaTutor, that will also launch at the same time, but it will be running in the background. Uh, this, uh, none of this stuff will do anything for you at the start. You won't see any FPS data or, or overlay or anything like that come up all by itself. You need to configure it. So let's do that now. Let's open up the MSI Afterburner settings by clicking this little gear icon right here. The first step is to set up the hotkeys that we'll be using. I have three hotkeys set up. The first hotkey we need is in the on-screen display settings area of the settings. So you need to set the toggle on-screen display hotkey. I have mine set for Control alt 0 the next hotkey that we need to set are the benchmark hotkeys, which are for re recording average FPS on demand. Those are under the benchmark settings. You'll need a separate hotkey to start the recording and uh, end the recording. I'll use Control alt 9 and Control alt 8 for those. So you can turn on the overlay with Control alt 0 start the average FPS recording with Control alt 9 and end the recording with Control alt 8 but we're not ready to use it yet. We still need to toggle which options are gonna be shown in the overlay, otherwise it won't even show up. So we'll do that in the monitoring tab. In this tab, you'll see a big long list with a bunch of different options. These are all the different things that you could toggle to monitor in the overlay. <laughs> there are a lot here, so let's start out easy by enabling our GPU usage and FPS monitoring. 
Those are called GPU usage and frame rate. There are two things that you need to do to enable them. First is you need to make sure that there's a check mark beside the option. And if there's not one there, then you gotta click to put a check mark on. And that will just make sure that it's enabled for monitoring. Next, you'll wanna highlight your option. And then in the area below, you'll need to select show in on-screen display. Put a check mark there. So now that we have those toggled, click OK and let's try them out. So we're going to start up a game and let's hit our hotkey to turn on the overlay. Control Alt 0. Hey, look at that. We got our overlay at the push of a button. <laughs> Neat. Oh, that's pretty good. So let's go through all the options that I personally like to have turned on. I like having my CPU usage, my system RAM, my GPU usage, my GPU clock speed, my GPU VRAM allocation, my frame rate, my frame rate average, frame rate 1% low, and frame time. So I'm going to go through and select each option, make sure the check mark is there beside each of them, and then toggle show in on screen display in the options in the area below. After that, we could go back to our game and see it in action. And there it is. L look at all that data. There's so much data. And uh, now we can also test our FPS average data recording. So I'll press Control Alt 9 to start the recording. And there it goes. And then, then if we want to stop the recording, I could press Control Alt 8 to, to stop it. And then press the save hotkey again, Control Alt 8 to remove it from the screen. Uh, but as you can see, it's a little bit all jumbled together, isn't it? It's hard to even tell what's what. So let's customize the look of our overlay data to or organize it and make it more readable and useful. The first thing that we'll want to do is give separate names for each entry. See, right now all the GPU data is just in one row, but in my, in my version of the overlay, each item has a label. So here's how we do that. Let's start with the GPU usage. We're going to highlight that and th then in the area below, you'll see this override group name option. So put a check mark in that box and th then you can type whatever name you want for how this uh, info will be displayed. So for GPU usage, I'm just going to call this group GPU usage. If you want multiple items to be under the same entry, just make sure they all have the same name and then it'll stack them. I personally like to have them all separated. So just go through your list and give each of them whatever name you'd like. However, when you get to the frame time, I find it's more useful to see this data point as a graph rather than a number. So to do that, under the area where you select show in on screen display, change the little drop down box from text to graph. So now when we go back to our game, there we go. <laughs> That's a lot better, right? But much more organized. That's basically how I set it up, but there are two special things that I like to do to tighten it up a little bit. One thing that I sometimes like to do is change the font. So let's open up Riva Tutor from the, the icons in the taskbar down there. And then when that comes up, there's a bunch of stuff on here, but uh, we're going to uh, click the raster 3D button to get a font list. And then we'll just pick one that we like the look of. You can go with something readable or retro feeling or decorative. I think today I'm going to go with everybody's favorite font, Comic Sans. Yeah, I think everybody's going to like this one. There are a few other options in Riva Tutor that you might want to adjust. Like you can change the size and position of the overlay or give it a, a semi-transparent black background. That's usually what I do. But you can do whatever you like here. There's a, a couple ways you can customize it. The next main thing that I do, because it drives me nuts, is this frame time graph. <laughs> Look how wide it is by default. It's way wider than the rest of the data on the screen. So there's a special way that we adjust this. And it's in the same area that we uh, selected to show the graph. So we'll, you see this little three dots menu? Just click that. And in here, there's a ton of options that you can use to tweak this data element. What I do here to change the size of the graph is scroll down to the graph settings and then just change the values here to make it whatever width and height that you want. Mine is set to this data right here. So let's apply this and go back to the game. And there we go. <laughs> That's the way I like to see my data. I'll need a nice little neat rectangle. And if you use the same numbers, it should turn out more or less like this. And you can tweak them if you need to. Oh, and one more bonus tip. Your FPS data is actually stored in a log. It's stored in the documents folder of your user directory. And the file is called msiafterburnerlog.txt. 
You could view all the frame rate tests that you've done there. It, it keeps the, the, the log of everything you've ever done. And it, it shows all the FPS data you could ever want for each item. And that that's it. That's how I use MSI Afterburner to show my data, how I enable it, and how I use my hotkeys, and how I calculate my FPS averages. I hope you found this useful. Let me know if you have any questions about how to set any of this stuff up. Uh, click the thumbs up button if you like the video, or don't if you didn't. And that's it for me. I'm TechTweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.